Hi there, my name is Christopher Redman. I'm a local filmmaker and director here in Ottawa. We're at my house right now and I'm gonna tell you the story of how I got to Sesame Street. So the short is called Bees for Bus Driver and it's one of those interstitials that goes between, you know, like the Big Bird segment and the Elmo segment and it's basically uh, just a short, one minute short film that explains uh, what bus drivers do and what, what to do when you go on the bus as well, especially as a kid, how you have to push the button, how, you know, bus drivers wear uniforms, just a real, you know, cute, tutorial that talks about school buses, long distance buses, kind of like Greyhounds, or uh, city buses. We just put out a big casting call, so we for, we needed real bus drivers, right? This is the thing, because they're actually driving the buses. So we partnered with OC Transpo, we went through a bunch of private companies as well, and we probably had 70 different bus drivers from across, you know, Ottawa apply. And they were all in for maybe five minutes each, you know, but uh, it was great, you know. We had probably 50 people from OC Transpo come, and uh, then it came to the kid as well. And the kid was a little more selective because I had directed a, a TV series for TVO last year called Are You Ready? And it, same thing, it was like two and a half minutes and it was sort of instructional um, videos about how to empty the dishwasher, how to make your bed, how to get dressed in the morning. It was all like three to six year olds. And Talia was one of my talent for that. And she was just amazing right off the start. So I knew I would love to put her. So I, I had had her in a very, um, sort of a you know pre-selected group that I sent to Sesame Street with my you know clear favorite marked and uh, they went with it right away as well. I think the opportunity to be on Sesame Street is is kind of in the back of everyone's mind as a dream. You know, you grow up watching this thing and the idea of, of being that face of representing bus drivers, like you kind of become, you are the that friendly bus driver that's gonna greet people. When all the bus drivers are auditioning, they're just sitting there and I'm saying, okay, now you're driving the bus, okay, you're waving, oh, you're making a stop, go through the motions. And it was really fun to see some of these bus drivers really, uh, you know, some of them are thinking safety first, you know, they're going and they're signaling and they're checking and they're doing all these, other ones are, they're forgetting that they're even a real bus driver. And they're kind of like doing this all over the place. You know, I'm like, you're a real bus driver. You gotta pretend you're actually driving. Um, but we just wanted people with a nice smile, really. All they had was like one or two lines. It was just a, a quick, you know, hello, how are you? But we we also wanted obviously to be representational. We wanted sort of a cross section there, uh, men and women, because really the people that auditioned were a, a really great cross section. Like I was really impressed by the diversity of people that applied in Ottawa. Here comes the city bus driver to take us to the baseball game. He wears a uniform and makes sure all the passengers, like me and my dad, have a bus pass or fare. Hello. Hi there, here's my bus pass. Great, thank you. Because doing kids TV is really, it's curriculum based. You know, it's its not just about what's the funniest, what's the zaniest. So they have a principle on Sesame Street called, you know, um, say it and see it, right? So you want you want to be hitting kids on both levels. You're, you're saying what you're doing and you're showing what you're doing as well. So I just did that, it was, it was pretty straightforward. Um, to be honest, I didn't feel like it was a great presentation. In fact, it started off, it totally went sideways on me. I, I was up there and I just started crying. <laughs> I literally just started tearing up because I had this little anecdote that I thought, oh, this will be a good hook that I'll start with. And I told them, hey, so my son just started, uh, you know, kindergarten this year and he had a really hard time. I said, you know, he cried every day going to school for like a month. It was really tough for him. I said, and then after about a month when he started, you know, getting used to it, I said, okay, how about, let's start taking the bus now. And he just broke down, started crying again. He said, well, now it's extra scary. So I was like, oh boy. So basically I just, the idea of my anecdote was gonna be, so I just want to make something that'll make it a little less scary for kids like my son. 